Hello everybody, and it's time for another assignment. This one, we are going to create a table to display the starter of the first generation Pokemon. I know I'm the biggest nerd in the world, but this type of data lends itself well to tables. So you'll notice I have a title here, that's an H1, and then I have a table. I have table headers right here, and then I, for each one of these Pokemon I have some data. I have an image, I have their name, I have their type, and I have a link of what they evolve into. So let me click on this link, and it takes you to the Pokemon fandom wiki of the one that they evolve into. Now, I don't expect you to find all that on your own. You could, but I don't expect you to. I'm giving you all this data right here. So you've got their name, you've got a direct link to their image, um, their type, what they evolve to, and then the link that I want that to go to. So um, if, by the way, any of these images links are broken, just Google the Pokemon name and get another one. That's fine. I have no problem with that at all. The important part is that you are putting data into tables. That's all I care about. So in here, you need to have, um, like I said, three rows need to be in this order. It needs to have this data. These have to be links. Make sure you use your A tags to make these links, your anchor tags. Um, you can, if you want to pretty this up, you can justify this on the inside and do all kinds of stuff. If you're, if you're a CSS person and you already know that, you're welcome to do that, but it is not at all required. What is required is that you use the accessibility features. You need to have um, alternate text for all of your images, and you need to use the T-head and the T-body for your table so that people with screen readers can still access it. And also, you'll notice I have the border here turned on. Go ahead and do that for this one. Even though it's not good practice, we're not going to do it in the future, it just makes it easier for me to see and for my eyes to follow. So in your table, make sure you put the attribute border equals one in quotation marks. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to help. Thanks.